All right, just got to get that uh, squared away. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again this week. Um, super excited to have you back with us. Um, if this is your first um, time joining us, Welcome, my name is Hannah, and I am the Director of Faith Formation at Holy Angels Parish. Um, and that is here in West Bend, Wisconsin, uh, about 30 miles north of Milwaukee. So welcome, um, and welcome to you if you are a parishioner or um, someone who... Um, is local to West Bend. Welcome. Um, I have to, so, um, I hope if you watched, oops, um, if you watched last week, uh, oh, okay, um, shoot, yeah, so if you watched, last week um huh there is no is there a way to do this uh if you watched last week thank you if you did not um there we go Uh, please, please go back and watch. Um, I encourage you to do that. Um, it, yeah, I thought it was good. Um, I also have a highlight on our Twitch page of, um, uh, just the part where we prayed the rosary. So if you're just interested in that, um, I do have that clipped and ready for you, ready to go for you. Um, it's also on our Facebook page, which is the same as our Twitch, so it's facebook.com slash holyangelswb. It's also there if you want to check it out. Um, I encourage you to do so. So, the reason that I am, um, there's no volume on the game is because we didn't get dinged, but it's not, you know, we didn't get in trouble or anything, but it's not good to have, um you know twitch is kind of um doesn't like it when the there's other music going on in the background that they don't have the license to or we don't have the license to and so they've been super reading some articles they've been super strict with that so we can't have any so like a notification did come up that there was like copyrighted music and it's not it's not that we got in trouble for it but um they just kind of don't like it when we do that so I won't have the music or the sound effects or the talking or anything for the game on, you know, turned on for the stream. Instead, I had this this royalty-free music playing that if you were um, listening in the beginning, that's what was playing. Um, but so that doesn't cost, it doesn't need a license, it doesn't cost any money, it's free. So that's what I had playing in the background. Um, and I want to try to do that again. Um, just so that, you know, we can have some relaxing music in the background, but we won't get, um, notified for it or anything like that. So that's what, um, I had. Now this playlist that I have here is supposed to be uplifting music. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, ooh, that's a little, how about piano? Okay, that's nice. Okay, so that'll just kind of be going in the background. If that gets distracting, or if you don't like that, um, just let me know and I can, I can definitely, I can take it off. But, um, you should only, like, faintly be able to hear it, so, um, 
yeah, and I there's other music on here too that we can check out. All right, so we just got done speaking to Mary in the chapel, so now we're gonna go out, and we oh, and we and we prayed the rosary. Not Mary, sister. Now we're talking to Mary, and she says, "Hello, pilgrim. It's me, Mary, Blessed Mother of Jesus." And for those of you who don't know, this is a Catholic video game, and um, all of our K through sixth grade um, formation students have access to this game, and it's about a pilgrim's journey, helping others and praying. And so, this is the fifth grade level of the game. Um, so, just so you know the background. All right, so let's talk to Mary. Hello, Mary Pilgrim. It's me, Mary, Blessed Mother of Jesus. You just spoke with Sister Gloria about the joyful mysteries, which were some of the happier times in my son Jesus's life. But I was also there for the passion, which is what we call Jesus's final suffering and death. I could share the story of the passion with you, but there is a way to experience it for yourself. Oh, wow. So, let's see. At the back of the church, there is a room with the Stations of the Cross. Enter that room to learn the story of the Passion by following Jesus' steps. Huh. Please walk through them. I will meet you afterwards. So, that will be our, our prayer experience today. And it's kind of perfect because um, I did promise that we would have at least one prayer experience every stream. And last time it was the Rosary. And so this time it's going to be Lent, I mean, not Lent, it's going to be Stations of the Cross. And since we are nearing Lent, um, this is kind of perfect. So maybe we'll do this again, you know, when Lent actually arrives. Oh, oh, I see. So these are the, the stations, so you have to, I needed to stop at each one. Okay. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Okay, so that's what you do. The second station, Jesus takes up the cross. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. The fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. The, sorry, the twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. And finally, the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. So that wasn't really a prayer. It was just kind of going through the stations, but it was definitely, you know, reflective. And it's a good reflection. 
As you saw in the stained glass, Jesus knew he would suffer on the cross in order to die for our sins and be resurrected. He was afraid, but he did it because it was what he was meant to do. It's hard to reflect on Jesus' suffering and sacrifice, but it's important that we understand what he did for us. There are people now who are going through difficult times. You can help by being there for them and listening. See who you can help at the farmer's market. Alright, so now we have to go to the farmer's market. And see who we can help. Oops. Alright. Okay, I think this is who we're supposed to talk to. Oh, hey, Pilgrim. Well, I've been better, honestly. Would you be willing to talk with me about it? Sure. My grandpa's getting sick, and we used to ride our bikes together, and now he can't keep up. Mom and Dad say he's not getting better. They say it might be time to move him to assisted living where someone will always look out for him. But when they talked to him about it, he got so upset. He said he didn't want to leave his house. My parents felt terrible, but they wanted him to be safe, and I just feel bad and don't know what to do. I guess because it's a bad situation and there isn't a way to fix it. Have you ever gone through something like this? Yeah, of course. Then you know what it's like. Everyone's trying to do the right thing, but no one's happy. I hate feeling like there's nothing I can do. That's a great idea. We can go to church to light a candle and say a prayer. Lead the way. Now, at Holy Angels, we don't have these kind of candles. But the church that I grew up at and many, many churches have these red candles that are here. And you can... Pay, you usually pay like two dollars or something and or three dollars something really small and you there's like there's these wicks that you can light a candle for it and then you you pray a prayer um for whatever that person is or sometimes people light it and pray for like a cause like world peace or something like that so Marcus says, Father of mercy, teach me to be responsive to the needs of others. Remind me that your work is accomplished through love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Pilgrim. I know there are tough times but that we don't really have the power to control, but it does help to pray. It helps to know that God is listening and that he loves us. I really appreciate you helping me today. You were going to visit Summer, right? She's at the farmer's market up that way. Say hi to her for me. Alright, so, yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a nice thing to do. It's very, it's very peaceful, and then to light a candle, to, to pray for someone, and then you can go back, and it's kind of like, um, the way I always kind of looked at it as, is um you know however long that candle is burning those prayers are, are just going up to god for that person or for that cause so um i thought it was always kind of a nice thing to do so if you ever go to a church that has that opportunity i encourage you to check that out Okay, let's see, okay, we're talking to Summer. Hey there, Pilgrim, welcome to the Farmer's Market and the Book Fair. I figured this would be another good way to bring people together. Someone to take over the cafe in the city. Hmm, that sounds like a cool opportunity, but I don't think, I can't think of anyone. Oh, wait, wait. Jorge dropped off a bunch of books at the fair. He said some of them were from a boy who had to move because his parents were having trouble finding work. The cafe might be a good place for them. If I can just find one of the books he donated. Ah, here we are. Inside it says this book belongs to Tyler. You should talk to Jorge at the library to see if he can help you track down Tyler. 
Maybe taking over the cafe is just the chance his family needs. If you're looking for a break, you can drop by the garden nearby and say hi to my farmhand Viola first. She's been hard at work and could use some help. Would you like to help her? Sure, we can help. Great, you can find her in the garden nearby. Goodbye. Alright, so now we're going to the garden. Oh, here we go. Hey there, pilgrim. Welcome to the garden. I was just about to start sowing the next crop of greens. I really like working in the garden because it feels a lot like life. There's times of hard work and times you just wait. Sometimes you get good weather and good harvests, sometimes not so much, but life keeps moving. The book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible tells us there is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to give birth and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. And with that, it's time to plant so that we can reap what we sow later. Take these seed packets to the field and plant the seeds in the soil. Thank you. Okay, so now we have to go here. And plant. 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 Cool. Thanks for your help. Now we just have to water and wait, and we'll see what the harvest brings. It helps to take good care of the seeds, but sometimes we get the harvest we hope for, and sometimes we don't kind of like other things in life. Regardless, I find prayer helps me remember that there's a season for everything. A time to weep and to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. I'm glad we had this time together, Pilgrim. Thank you. I hope the seasons bring you back here again. Now I believe you said you were going to talk to Jorge. You can find him at the library. Travel safely. All right, now we're going to find Jorge at the library, which is over here somewhere. Typically, we're looking for people with blue check marks above their head. There he is. Hello, Pilgrim. Good to see you. Anything I can help you find? Oh, that's one of Tyler's books. It's kind of a sad story. His family has had trouble finding steady work, and they've had to move a lot. His family just came to the valley, but it turns out they have, this, they have to move again. Tyler was packing up and decided to donate all his books to the library. He thought people could use them, but I kept a few in storage to return to him when his family gets settled. I donated the rest to the book fair. Running the cafe in the city would be gr a great opportunity for his family pilgrim. What a great idea. I found my last box of picture books. I thought they might be good for the little kids section. Oh, this is Tyler now. What's with the big smiles? Tyler, the pilgrim is helping Darla find someone to take over her cafe in the city. This could be an opportunity for your family. That sounds awesome. I'd have to talk to my parents, of course, but I mean, my folks love hosting people, and I got some great muffin recipes. Well, let's ask them. Where can we find them? Oops. They are staying with their old friends, Henry and Wilma, in the forest for a few days until we can find something more permanent. Great. Pilgrim, head to the docks to ask Captain Keith to take you both to the forest. Tyler will meet you there. Okay, so now we have to go back to the boat.
Hello, Pilgrim. I'm grateful to you for all the hard work you've done. Oh, this is St. Ignatius again. You've really been helping a lot of people deal with their challenges in their lives so that they can take their next steps. Soon you'll be taking the next leg of your journey to the forest, and it might be good to take some time to reflect. Would you like to pray the examine now? Oh, well, here's a, another opportunity for us to pray. Let's pray. This is a really neat way of praying, and I like, I really enjoy it. Um, the Jesuits, which is an order of Catholicism, this is their This is kind of their way to pray, but I have to make sure that, oh yeah, we can't really have these sound effects on. Okay, so we have to start with this candle. Oh. Okay, hopefully that's... Hopefully that's okay. I think it'll be fine. Alright, so in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Ask God to help you see your journey as God sees it. So it says, your journey is a gift from God. What brought you joy today? Thank God for the joy in your life. Think about your journey from the beginning to now. It says, think about your journey from the beginning to now. So an examine is a daily, a prayer about kind of reviewing your day. So your, your journey from the beginning of your day to now. So it says, think about the choices you've made on your journey. Where did you struggle with those choices? What would you do differently next time? And the last candle. Think of how God has helped you on the next steps of your journey. Then click on any candle to put them out and leave the exam. It says, think of how God can help you on the next steps of your journey. Then click on any candle to put them out and leave the exam. All right, now we leave. And that's an option in the, in the prayer tent. All right. Thank you for taking time to pray with me, Pilgrim. The examine helps me reflect on what I've done and what I plan to do next. I hope it helps you on the next leg of your pilgrimage. Yes, you should continue on to, on to the docks to meet Captain Keith. Tyler will meet you there, and you can travel to the forest together. Travel safely. Okay. Here's, here we are at the docks. Ahoy, pilgrim, ready to sail to the forest. Yes. And your friend Tyler is joining us. Yes.
Well then, climb aboard. Sounds good. Here we are sailing to the um, to the forest. I'm trying to find a track that's more there we go. Alright. Let's go, Pilgrim. Oh, a new saint. Oh no. Have we saw him already? Yeah, we have. We already saw him, but that's okay. Greetings, Tyler, and good to see you, Pilgrim. You may have noticed I'm often seen carrying these books. After my conversion, I wrote many letters proclaiming the good news of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. So those are the letters um, in the New Testament. Many of these letters make up the books of the New Testament in the Bible. Right. I know from experience that life changes can be very difficult, and I'm grateful that you're helping Tyler and his family through their challenging time right now. There are others in the forest who are struggling to deal with change as well, and I know you can help them too. Please head to the church. Sister Sophia and Father Michael are two people who could use your help. Travel safely. Alright, let's go to the church. <laughs> oh, nope, not this. This way. Nope. All right. We have to talk to her now. Oh, hello, Pilgrim and Tyler. It's so good to see you again. It's nice to be back. Well, you're always you're both always welcome in the church. Please excuse me for being a little distracted. I've been a little overwhelmed since our deacon retired and our altar servers are away at a retreat. The deacon helped with mass and other services and read scripture. I'm happy for him to enjoy his retirement and to do my part in building the kingdom of God, but I sure have my hands full. Actually, I could use some help getting ready for mass. We need to get this collection plate to the usher and this music to the organist. Start by taking the music to the organist, please. He's over by the organ, of course. Sure. There he is. Hello there. Is that the music for the mass? Wonderful. I'm glad you brought it over so I have time to look it over before the service. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time volunteering to play the organ at Mass. It is so exciting and I want to make sure I do a good job. That'll be easier now that I have time to review the music. Thank you so much for your help, Pilgrim. Now you should probably get that collection plate to the usher. He's over by the front door. Alright. Here's the usher. Hello, Pilgrim. Have you seen the collection plate anywhere around here? Ah, thank you for bringing it over. The collection is an important part of the service. The church needs money to offer a place where Catholics can gather to celebrate their faith together, to provide services to the community, and to collect alms for people in need all over the world. So during Mass, we pass these plates and ask people to donate what they can. Speaking of Mass, you should probably go check in with Sister Sophia to see if she needs anything else before it starts. Hello, Pilgrim. Did you get those things to the organist and the usher? Yes. Thank you so much. I have one more favor to ask you. Take this candle lighter and snuffer and please light the candles in the church, then check back with me. All right.
can't go back there. Oh. All right, all done. Thank you for lighting the candles and thank you for your help to Tyler. You're always welcome in our church. I've got to get ready for mass now, but you could help by me by checking in with Father Michael. He might need some help too. All right. Hello, Pilgrim. What brings you to the church? We don't have our new deacon yet, so I'm a little busier than usual. Thank you so much for offering to help. A deacon is ordained, so he can do things to help me with certain parts of the Mass. An ordained person has taken the sacrament of holy orders to serve the church in a special role. I felt called to the vocation of the priesthood, so I studied and trained and took holy orders to become a priest. Deacons also feel called to, to a vocation to serve the church and are ordained. So, while you can't help with some of the special tasks that the deacon would do, would you, could you, you could help by handing out the hymn, hymnals. Would you help me with that? Sure. Thanks so much. There are three people in the pews. Please make sure they each get a hymnal. Start with the lady in the blue dress. Hello there. Do you have a hymnal for today's mass? Yep. Thank you so much. Since you're here, I think my neighbor across the aisle in the gray suit could use one as well. Would you take him one? Sure, why not? We'll go over to him. Hello, Pilgrim. May I have one of the hymnals you're passing out? Sure. Would you take one to my sister, please? She's sitting in the front pew and wearing a red hat. Why would they not be sitting together? That's interesting. Hello there, are you handing out the hymnals? Yes. Great. May I get one too? Sure. Thank you. I think everyone has one now. You can head back to Father Michael. Thanks so much for helping with the hymnals, Pilgrim. We can all use the help we can get. We can use all the help we can get until our new deacon arrives. I know the bishop is working on finding a new deacon to help serve our parish, but I hope we can find some help here soon. You know someone who might be interested in becoming a deacon? What is his name? Sebastian. Well, let me write him an invitation to come see me. Then I can introduce him to the director of deacons for our diocese. He will be able to help Sebastian understand the steps toward being a deacon. Here you are. Be sure to give this invitation to Sebastian when you see him. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? We came to the forest to see my parents. We're staying with Henry and Wilma for a while. Henry and William mentioned, or Wilma, sorry, mentioned having house guests when they were here today for mass. Thank you for helping today. Go check in with your parents at Henry and Wilma's now. All right. Thanks for coming with me to Henry and Wilma's place. I'm kind of nervous about the big opportunity to take over Darla's coffee shop. Walking with you is calming my nerves. Uh-oh. Hey, Tyler. Remember me? Yes, Kay. I do remember you. I know my friends and I weren't very nice to you in the past, but I'm sorry for how I behaved. Really? You made fun of me. You told me I couldn't play with you and I should just go away. I'm so sorry, Kay. I've changed. I've been going to church, and I've learned a lot of there about how to make better choices and be kinder. Your apology is not accepted. It doesn't undo what you did. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I feel awful. She's still so angry. It's like all the work I did to change doesn't matter. Tyler, your choices do matter. You've worked hard to change and treat others with respect and kindness. Sometimes people aren't as willing to forgive others as God is. As long as you're sorry and strive to live as Jesus teaches us, reflect, reflecting God's love, God always forgives us. 
Thank you, sister. It does help to hear that, though it still hurts. I understand. Kay may come around yet once she gets over her hurt feelings. Why don't you go with the pilgrim to Henry and Wilma's to see if your parents are there? I'm sure that will help. All right. Well, if it isn't the Pilgrim, so good to see you. And Tyler, I'm glad to see you too. It's good to see you too. Are my parents around? Oh gosh, we forgot. You've been in the valley for a while. We have some news. We had some big house repairs recently and had some trouble making ends meet. But as we've gotten older, the community of faith has helped us through tough times. I'm glad the community helped you, but what does this have to do with my parents? We're all a part of the kingdom of God, so we all look out for each other. We are renting out our spare bedroom now, but we didn't just turn your parents away with nowhere to go. We knew another, another member of our community would be happy and able to help. Your family is now staying with the Weather Watcher. Meet them at the Weather Tower. We're grateful everyone has a place to stay, and the community will continue to support those in need. Thank you. Henry and Wilma, come come on, Pilgrim, let's head to the Weather Tower. Alright, so we have to go this way. <clears throat> oh, these look like they are big stations of the cross, which is cool. Mom, Dad, Tyler, you found us. We were going to send for you once we knew where we were staying. Introduce us to your friend. The Pilgrim is well known around here for helping people with all kinds of challenges. Maybe you can help us find a solution here. I've been happy to give Tyler's family a place to stay for a while, but my place isn't well suited to put up a family on account of it being, you know, a weather tower. <laughs> Pilgrim, you talk to everyone. Maybe you have some ideas on a more permanent solution. Taking over the cafe in the city, wow, that sounds like a great place to work, but I worry about making Tyler move again. Honestly, Mom, I'll be happy anywhere you're happy, as long as we're all together, though it would be really nice if I could bring my books. Oh gosh, Tyler, I want to make that happen. I really do, but they're so heavy and we ran out of space packing them. Pilgrim, that's a great idea. We should get Bartolomea to help move your books. Who's Bartolomea? Oh, she's a little girl who lives nearby. She invents robots to help us solve our everyday problems. She could help make you a book-moving robot. Wow, this is, a <laughs> this is an advanced... <laughs> city that they live in. Pilgrim, will you ask Bartolomea to rustle us up some robots? We'll be wa waiting here while we finish packing. This is something that I did not think would be happening, but that's you know what? That's cool. That's fine. Hey, Pilgrim, you look like you could use some help today. You need some robots to help Tyler's family move? <laughs> In fact, I've got a new one that's just right for the job. Meet Leghorn. He's my fastest model and built for land and sea operations. He can get Tyler's books from the valley in no time. Leghorn, fetch. Whoa, looks like a chicken. Leghorn is off to the valley, but he'll be waiting for you when you get to the docks. And other robots 
will help carry the family's luggage too. Rody, why and dote, follow the pilgrim to the weather tower. Wow, this is this is this is interesting. <laughs> they look like chickens, don't they? Whoa, Bartolomea sure makes some cool robots. As a fellow scientist, I've always been inspired by Bartolomea's ingenious inventions. Leghorn went to the valley to get my books. That's a big help. Those chickens look like they can carry a lot. See, I said, that's what I said. Bartolomea said they'll help us carry our luggage to the docks. That's so kind of her. I'm going to name a sandwich at the coffee shop after her. Bartholomew's Balsamic Beet and Brie Baguette. Ooh. It does not sound like it would taste good, but maybe if you like beets, maybe it would. We should get going if we're going to make time. We'll meet you at and the Clockwork Chickens at the boat. You have clear skies ahead. Captain Keith's boat is waiting at the ranger station docks. There's St. Paul again. Pilgrim, thank you so much for all you're doing for Tyler and his family. You're really helping them find a new opportunity in a difficult time. Change is often hard. It can be fun or exciting or scary or sad. You've learned a lot about this and about how reflecting God's love and focusing on the work of building his kingdom can help us during these times. Look how your lantern shines. As you continue to make good choices, you will grow closer to God and the lantern will grow ever brighter. As the lantern lights your way, you will share God's light with the world. Continue on to the docks. Tyler and his family will be waiting for you. Farewell, pilgrim. Oh, that's right there. Hey, pilgrim, thanks for getting our things here. Leghorn went to the valley and got all my books, and it looks like he brought a note. Here, I'll read it for all of us. Dear Pilgrim, thank you so much for helping Tyler and for reuniting him with his books. We are all lucky to have you as a neighbor. With gratitude, Jorge. Speaking of books, there's one here I want you to have. It's a study Bible from when I first came to the church. It's it was something that helped me a lot when I was making changes in my life. Kind of like how you helped me today, so I want you to have it. Ready to head to the city, Tyler? I'm ready. Running a cafe sounds so fun. I'm already coming up with new muffin recipes. You're coming to the city too, right, Pilgrim? Great, you can deliver that message to Sebastian and introduce us to the cafe owners. Now you can let Captain Keith know we are ready to go. Thanks. So we have this Bible now. Which I'm not really sure how to open, but that's okay. Ready to set sail for the city? Yes. Aye. Well, let's hoist anchor and get you into port and to your new adventure.
Well, look at that. Oh wow, that was it. Wow, that was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Well, I guess we will end the stream here. <laughs> I did not realize that it was going to be that short, but, um, wow, okay, well, thank you so much for, um, doing that let's play along with me, it, I thought it was fun, and, um, we got to do a couple different prayer opportunities today. Um, the, uh, the examine, and we went through the Stations of the Cross, which was really, really neat. Um, so yeah, I didn't realize the levels were that short. That's interesting. But, um, yeah, but that's okay. We have, you know, five other levels, six other levels, actually, to play from. So we will go through all of those. Maybe next Tuesday we can start level G and see what that is about. I think they are all slightly different just because of the um, um, the different topics that each grade covers are slightly different. So yeah, so that's cool. Um, I just want to tell you about some other things that we're doing, if you're not aware. Um, and all of this, I'm going to put this in the chat. Oh, actually it's on, it's in the, it's in the description for, um, our, our Twitch page. Um, but this is our... Uh, I just put in the chat our website, um, so please check that out to see kind of what we're all about and some things that we're doing. Um, I, As far as technology goes, we do have a mass that's live streamed, a uh, weekend mass, every Sunday at 9.30. Um, that's Central Time. And we also live stream our Thursday, 8 o'clock a.m. Um, weekday mass. So those are our masses that we live stream. Uh, we also have this uh, Wanderlight stream every Tuesday at 3. I typically, I mean, I've, this is only the second week, but um, I um, I usually will, will try to stream for an hour. Um, um, if you are a child in K-4 through fourth grade or you have a child in K-4 through fourth grade, we also... Um, put out a kid's liturgy video every um, weekend that reflects on that um, weekend's gospel and does a little activity and we have a game uh, in each video to play along with at home so um, check those out as well those are also on the website under kids the kids liturgy tab um, for Lent uh, starting the week of Ash Wednesday um, we're also going to release one new Lent at Home for Families video every week of Lent to give you some ideas for how to celebrate Lent at home and make the most out of that season. So, um, there's a lot of things going on that we're trying to connect with people with, and we're trying to give people some ideas and some tools to um, practice their faith in their 
at, you know, at home, uh, because right now a lot of us are doing things from home and that's okay. Um, we all have to stay safe. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to highlight those few things. Um, but I think this is where I'm going to end the stream. Um, so I know it was a little shorter than an hour, but there's not really enough time to start something new. So, um, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, please tune in again next week. Um, uh, next week, Tuesday, uh, right here on our Twitch channel at 3 p.m. Central Time. And we will have another Wanderlight stream for you. Um, if you're watching this uh, on Facebook, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will continue to post our... Um, our Wanderlight recorded streams on um, YouTube or on, on, on Facebook and on YouTube. So thank you if you're watching in either place. And um, we will catch you um, next week. Bye.